Yes, thank you very much, guys. Once again, thank you very much for, for joining. Thank you very much for Lucas for inviting me to, to deliver this webinar. And Elena Paventa, who is uh, Division Director, Division J Director, thank you very much for helping me as well, as Elena today will be the facilitator of the discussion which will happen on the chat box. So if you will have any questions uh, regarding the, the content which I'm presenting and I'm mentioning about, then just please don't hesitate and um, ask a question and Elena is the PR expert who's going to answer your all questions. Okay, so let's start the webinar. Why me and why I decided to, to take the opportunity and to share my knowledge with you? I have to admit that unfortunately, unfortunately I'm not a person who's working professionally and who's related professionally with the PR. I'm not working for a creative or PR agency. I'm not also a webmaster. I'm not a photographer. And unfortunately, I'm not a movie maker. I'm not a blogger at all. So why I decided? I'm a kind of heavy user of Facebook. And I would call myself Instagirl as well. And I'm really passionate about social media. And uh, when the opp opportunity came, when we were organizing, when we were setting up from the scratch a club one year ago in January 2017, I decided to step in um, because I thought that it would be a great opportunity for me to develop my, my skills and something for me in that role. And that's why I became a vice president of public public relations in the speakers club, which uh, had the charter party on the 1st of January. So as you can imagine, we had to start everything from the scratch. And today I would like to share my knowledge and my experience, how we we, me and the team of the board and the people who were helping us, how we started everything from the scratch and how at the end we received a really good feedback. So um, I would like just to emphasize that this webinar will be only about the PR in terms of Toastmasters International and I would like to base the content of this webinar um, just on the experience which I have, which I had uh, being a vice president of PR at Speakers of Watch Club. And probably your first question is, okay, but if I would like to become a vice president of PR, of if you started your journey with, with this term as uh, the board officer, so probably you are thinking how to start and which competencies you need to have. And this is my answer. I think that the PR, and this is all, this is my opinion. And I think that uh, the PR ninja superpowers are related with uh, those three elements. First of all, you need to think strategically. You need to have the plan. You need to set the goal. And this is really good time right now because we have the mid of January. And uh, if you started your cadency, then you can plan it carefully. What would you like to accomplish and what you are going to achieve at the end of your cadency? Whenever I'm leading um, workshops for the board officers, because currently I'm the area director, I'm just telling them Okay, so can you please imagine yourself that you are sitting under the palm in Paradise Island, it's July 2018, and what do you think in terms of your role, what you accomplished? And this is really important, that sometimes people have really good ideas, but there's no results. And um, you need to plan carefully and you need to follow your steps just to make those ideas happen. 
The second really important competency and the thing which the PR Ninja needs to have is the systematic work. And this is related with two fields. First of all, I've seen a really a great, fantastic people who were um, outstanding PR board members, but they were just like a burning stars. They were, their activities last just for one month, oh, at least two months, because they did not plan it carefully and, and they didn't save the energy for the whole term. So you just need to remember that if you're step in, stepping into this role, then you are responsible for the half of the year or for the whole year if your cadency is for one year. And the second thing related with this systematic work is related with the, 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 the world that we're living right now, right now. That you need to post and you need to release news about your club almost immediately. We are living instantly and uh, with Snapchats, with Insta stories, with um, the all messages and with the all news which are appearing right now live, you need to hurry up. You need to keep them updated and you need to post them just after it happened because otherwise people will forget about them because people will go for different events because they will mm, follow something else. And the third really important competency and the superpower ninjas is, um, is the rule that don't fly solo. Many times in Toastmasters, I realize that I really learn how to ask for help because you know, there will be a time that you're going to be sick or oh, there will be a time that you're going that you will go for holidays or oh, there will be a time that you will have a really really difficult time at work and those happens and it's natural that that toastmasters is something additionally to, to our professional life to our family life so just be responsible and for your role for the for the whole time if you are not on the meeting, it doesn't mean that um, that you cannot ask someone for help. When I was not going for a meeting because I had a lot of business trips, then I was asking someone for taking those pictures. And then I was posting those pictures. Um, as I told you, I'm not a webmaster and I really <laughs> even didn't want it to, to start and to create uh, the, um, the web page of our club. That's why I asked someone who made who made it and who made it professionally, and um, and who who made it very quickly. So really, don't be afraid, and ask for help if you need. Invite people to um, to your team. And look for the people that could bring value to your work, because um, probably you have professional photographer or someone who's really passionate about photography in your club. I'm not telling you that okay, you, sh you should delegate so taking pictures of your club of <laughs> every meeting to that person, but probably you will have a special meeting, special event. Then those pictures should be special. And whenever I'm, I was organizing, and still whenever I'm organizing special events, then I'm inviting my friends for taking those pictures. And uh, I'm, I'm inviting people, we were doing um, a movie, a promotional movie of our club. Then I also invited to those team 
to this team people who are really good in it. So if you are not an expert and if you don't want to to be an expert, then just please ask someone for help. And this is a really important thing which I would like to mention as, um, as the first in my webinar, that you as the vice president of PR, you are the guard. You are the guard of Toastmasters International Standards. And this is your responsibility to know where exactly find where to find information about Toastmasters International branding, websites, um, different um, flyers or marketing resources. Today, um, before the webinar, Peter asked a question about the website templates. And if you will go to toastmasters.org and then go to resources, there is a kingdom, a PR, a really PR kingdom for you, which is called logos, images and templates. And there's everything what you need. So instead of producing materials, you can just download them from, from those resources. Uh, instead of creating the website from scratch, you can use the website templates, which are there. Instead of putting illegal photos on your Facebook or on your uh, websites, you can go to the professional images which describes and show what Toastmasters is about. For example, we had such a situation that we were creating a new club and uh, we didn't have pictures to promote our club at the beginning. Uh, so we didn't want to use uh, pictures of different club. That's why we were using those pictures from um, Toastmasters International. And those pictures are really professional and really good quality and, <laughs> and they, they are legal. So I really encourage you to, to go there and to do a deep dive into those materials because probably you will find everything what you need to your work there. If you don't want to create new materials, I really, really encourage you to, to go there and to find the useful information which you need. Um, really, there's everything what you need. And Toastmasters International provides such a things. The next really important thing which uh, you need to know as the Vice President of PR is the brand manual. And right now I would like to ask Elena just to put the link that everyone will have uh, the link to the brand manual because I think that this is really crucial for you as the vice president of PR to, to know how to use the logo, how to use branding materials of um, Toastmasters International. Um, if you are creating materials, then you have the, the, the color palette, the official colors of Toastmasters. Uh, you, will, you, you will have the description of this, how this logo should look like and how to not use logo. And uh, you will have the explanation as well there why you shouldn't use toast or toasters in your, in your promotional materials because um, there are also things which we shouldn't do. We need to remember that those Masters International is wide world organization and we need to keep standards just to make this organization unique and uh, we are the first people to which are making decisions about uh, the, the promotion of our club so that's why we need to know how how to use those materials that they, they are going to be aligned with those masters international standards. Once again, 
I really encourage you to visit resources at Toastmasters.org to do that deep dive into all of those sections. And I really encourage you to familiar yourself with the brand manual. This is a basic. This is a basic which everyone who is the vice president of PR should know. And uh, if we are going to follow those steps and if we are going to use those materials, our work will be definitely easier. And here you have a list of uh, the official Toastmasters international channels. And you as the vice president of PR also should follow if you would like to be updated with all information which Toastmasters International provides. Uh, those are official Facebook channels, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. And here you can find official information which you can share with your members or you can share with the potential, potential, potential guests who are coming. You can use also those materials um, on your blogs or what, what in whatever channels you mm, you are operating on and i really encourage you as well to visit those uh, those channels okay so this was the first section uh, in this webinar if you have any questions to me right now then i will be happy to answer those questions uh, so in this section we covered the information about the how Toastmasters International can help us in our vice president of PR work. I cannot see the chat box, so maybe there are some questions on the chat box which, um, which were not answered yes, yet. So. Justina, Lucas, Lucas speaking. I have yep. one question because I imagine you're very familiar with the brand manual. Was there, was there something that uh, you know, like really surprised you when you saw for the for the first time or like you know what was the most useful thing in the brand manual that you can highlight for just to tease people to really you know open it and check it out um, there is a section um, which says which images are forbidden or maybe not forbidden but not allowed uh, which shouldn't be uh, connected with uh, uh, with those masters international uh, so uh, it was written that definitely we shouldn't use the images of toasts which we are eating for breakfast and toasters uh, while I remember that um, that I've seen many many advertising um, like many promotional materials okay come with us um, on a toast or um, join us for that um, so this is not a line with those masters international um, as well um, there are many conferences um, on different levels on area division district levels which are also not following the rules of uh, those masters international uh, really we need to remember about this how to use the logo pro properly and uh, for example, um, sometimes um, conferences, they are making their own brand of, um, of events. Or sometimes there are clubs which are making their own logo. And this is also not allowed uh, according to Toastmasters International. So we, I know that um, we are creative um, and many of uh, the vice president of PR wants to implement um, ideas created ideas and uh, wants to make each club unique but there are some rules and standards which we need to follow and um, right. that's why we're creating events on Facebook or creating like national conferences or district conferences um, and before printing materials it's uh, it's um, it's really good to, to be familiar with with those uh, standards right of course I understand the rules are important so we need to stick to the rules all right uh, maybe one question to Elena so I, I saw Elena that you were handling the questions uh, 
actively in the chat box. I want to check with you where it's okay if we go ahead with the webinar because like because from, from the time perspective or whether Elena, what do you think that some of the questions should uh, be stated aloud? Uh, yes, we had an interesting question. Uh, which uh, social media channels were the most effective uh, or maybe which one is the most effective or the combination of uh, which social media channels uh, is good and uh, how should you communicate? What language should you use? Okay, so uh, if you will, um, I will explain those. This is also the part of my webinar. So. So um, I think that we can proceed, and um, during um, the webinar I will I will mention definitely about uh, the the social media and which channel I used uh, to to promote our club. Okay, great. So I think that we can go um, forward. And you, as a vice president of PR, you're responsible for the internal and external communication. Um, I was, uh, in terms of internal communication, um, for our club, we created the Facebook group just for our members and we were um, communicating all important things through this channel. Also, me as the vice president of PR, I was uh, following all events which were happening in our area district, in our area division and district. And I was um, inviting people to those events and I was also communicating always uh, at the end of the meeting during the, uh, the, the club business about those um, those events because the vice in my opinion the vice president of PR needs to know everything what is happening in those masters international just to communicate um, first of all to members and then to potential 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 guests and um, the external communication, this is a bit wider, and I would like to uh, focus more on this area um, because um, it's more difficult. Um, so I would like to uh, start with, uh, with um, sharing with you the information that uh, before you will start um, your cadency, um, before I started uh, my cadency, I, I started planning everything. So as I mentioned, uh, we didn't have um, anything because uh, we were a new club. So we had to organize everything from the scratch. And uh, I, I just um, set up goals, what we need to do. So definitely uh, we had to create Facebook page, uh, which were our main channel for the communication. Uh, we created the Instagram um, page also. Um, I wanted to uh, to create a promotional video, and uh, during that time, uh, Toastmasters International organized the um, contest for the for the video as well. So we took part in this contest, um, and uh, um, I wanted to to create leaflets and. Um, and uh, I recreated as well meetup um, accounts where we were promoting um, our meetings. So uh, it was a lot of work to do, um, but uh, but at the end we, we accomplished everything uh, uh, with the board and with our members. Uh, so it was really really successful uh, half uh, of a year. Um, and a really nice uh, beginning of, of the journey of this club. So um, how I started planning my strategy, um, it's uh, not a coincidence that the background for this slide is a calendar, uh, because I'm planning everything according to my calendar, and I was planning as well uh, the, the PR activities um, with the calendar, um, because um, it really helped me. Uh, whenever I was planning uh, my communication um, on social media and then I was always checking uh, each month what kind of um, holidays uh, do we have during this month, um, what uh, I could link uh, with, my, uh, with, my, with my communication plan, um, what kind of events are going to happen um, and uh, what I can promote as well. So um, I really encourage you to have the strategy and just to follow 
um, step by step the strategy of um, of this what you created. And, and the second important thing when you are starting your uh, your journey um, as a vice president of PR is uh, just to know your target audience and uh, just uh, you need to know what you want to communicate to that audience. Um, we created the English uh, speaking club and uh, which is based in Poland which and which is um, a really multinational city and we wanted uh, to focus on um, on the foreigners but as well on people who are speaking English. So this was our target audience. Um, and uh, we were what we want to communicate to them. Of course, uh, uh, public develop, development of public speaking skills, leadership skills, but as well we were communicating um, improvement of English fluency, as uh, we had a lot of native speakers, and um, we were uh, also um, we are also promoting networking. So uh, those were the, the things which we were communicating through our our channels. And um, think about your target audience, because I know that some clubs are professional, uh, so you need to use more sophisticated language. Uh, some clubs are more focused on students, so also we need to know where 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 is your target audience. Mm, so think about your target audience. Think about um, what they are reading, um, where they are going, where, where they are spending time, how they are spending time, and um, what you can offer them, what kind of benefits they can get from your club. Uh, because I know that each club is different. And uh, if you will know these things, then, um, then your communication will be, um, will, will be aligned and uh, it will be Mm, full. Uh, and uh, then if you if you have the um, your strategy and if you have your targeted if you targeted your audience then you can start creating your content and as I mentioned before uh, the toastmasters.org is a, a great help because you can find everything there uh, you can ask someone for helping you and creating um, websites, um, graphics, or you can do it yourself. And um, I was using the combination of, uh, of three of those because I was uh, downloading uh, materials from Toastmasters.org. I was asking uh, people for help. Um, I asked for help with the website and I ask for help with uh, uh, with a movie, promotional movie. However, all graphics, all content which were on our social media channels, I was doing myself. And um, I, <laughs> um, I felt like a really graphic. Um, I was using for that Canva, and I really recommend to all of you um, who did not yet uh, worked with Canva that this is um, a really great tool uh, which uh, can make you a real PR ninja uh, because you can prepare graphics uh, to to different social media you don't need to even focus on, on the size of um, of the graphics that you're preparing because they are adjust to different social media uh, you're posting your content on um, the next important thing is um, legal pictures. Um, some of the pictures, mostly the pictures which were um, on our um, social media channels, I was taking myself with my iPhone. Um, and sometimes uh, when we were organizing a special event, I was inviting my friends. My friends were a professional photographer. So uh, so at the beginning, we, uh, we had um, a really good pictures um, just to create the first meetings and just to create our website. Um, I was using also the flat icon. Uh, this is a platform where you can also download for free icons. Um, Boomerang, which makes um, kind of short, funny, moving movie. Um, RIPL, they are making kind of short video. 
Um, repost was uh, really useful as well because um, sometimes when I was uh, reposting uh, information from um, from different channels uh, on Instagram, um, it was really really helpful. And uh, GiveMaker, those are the um, the, the application uh, which I was using because also we can have them on your phone. So just having a cool smartphone, you can be a real user. As well. I know that there are different um, different um, tools that might be useful, might be useful as well. And now it's my question to you: What other useful tools do you know? Can you please type in the chat box right now? So the question is: What other useful tools you know you are using? and uh, you think that uh, they're really cool and useful uh, for your work as a PR. I will mention that um, I know as well the Pixabay, Pigjambo, uh, those are the portals where, where you can um, download uh, pictures for free, legal pictures. Um, the phone Quirrell is also um, a really good application for interesting fonts. Pablo and PictoChart, those are the, um, the application and the tools that might be useful as well with, um, with images and, uh, and graphics. But as I said, uh, my favorite is Canva and, uh, and I'm doing everything with uh, Canva so far. So so best, Christina, I see some comments on, on the chat. So Ilya Rabinovich from PwC Prague says that Wix, uh, Wix is the best for him. Okay. Uh, if you have experience with that one, well, Elena, of course, writes that Canva, Canva is the best. Mm -hmm. So that supports, that supports what you stated before. Maybe just one quick comment uh, for as this webinar is scheduled, we have about 20 minutes to go. Uh, okay. So just for you to be, to be aware. All the time. Okay. okay, so now uh, I would like to just mention about the channels which I was using uh, during, during my um, tenancy as vice president of uh, PR. Um, as I mentioned, we created everything from the scratch. So uh, we started with creating the web page, but um, mm, our web page was kind of uh, the um, virtual. Um, business cards uh, because um, I wanted just to make it simple and uh, they were just information about uh, where where do we meet and uh, how to join us and the information about Toastmasters International with um, the direct link to, to the website of Toastmasters International and, and the main page was fed by, uh, by Facebook. So, um, so during my cadency, I didn't need to, to up, update uh, the website uh, because, uh, because it, was, um, it was updated all the time. And I, re I, I really recommend um, to all, all vice president of PR um, just to keep the website as possible uh, because um, there, there's nothing worse than not updated website. Uh, right now, as area director, I'm visiting many clubs and first of all, whatever I'm doing uh, before my visit, I'm just checking the data accuracy of the websites. And um, it's really sad that not all of the websites are updated. Uh, they're like uh, bad location of the meeting, which I think is the worst one because then a new guest cannot find you. Um, and this is also responsibility of uh, vice president of PR just to check in all social media if you are starting your cadency, if the data accuracy is proper, because um, it's really important and um, it brings the information about uh, you and the club for, for, for your guests. And also we had the information and the direct link to our Facebook and to our Instagram, so people could uh, follow us. But I, as I mentioned, um, website, we tried to make it as simple as possible, uh, just to treat them as a virtual um, business card. And then um, 
the all effort I put on the Facebook. And uh, I would like to show you how I was doing that um, and um, how I made it uh, to not spend my whole day and, uh, and whole months and whole, whole half a year on Facebook. Um, so um, every month um, I was uh, doing every end of the month, I was doing the, the communication plan for the next month. So, for example, if right now we have the January, then I would definitely work on the plan of, uh, of February. And uh, I al al always set up one day, um, around three hours in my calendar, to prepare the whole context um, and the whole plan of my communication. And I was doing that in Excel. So, as you can see, this is this, those are the one and a half week of our communication. I was uh, communicating things uh, four days a week. And um, why I, I made it um, in, um, in Excel? Because um, for me, it was easier just to collect all ideas and then think about the graphics, which are, I was making in, um, in Canva. And um, thanks to that, that I, could, uh, I could remember about the, the all things which were happening during the uh, during the month. So if we had the St. Valentine's Day, then I prepared something special for the 14th of February. If we had uh, um, the events or the um, conference which were coming, then I was also uh, preparing something special for that day. And then I was planning um, everything with um, in Facebook. So uh, in this way, I collected all necessary data uh, for, for my input to Facebook. And um, I was planning my Facebook communication just once a month. And after that, automatically everything was appearing. And right now I would like to show you how to, um, in six steps, uh, make your um, one month communication plan done, that you will not spend your whole week Mm, just uh, posting um, and working on Facebook. So Facebook and the fan pages of Facebook, they have a very useful publishing tool. If you will go to uh, publish post, then you can create a post and you can just copy paste this what uh, I was copy pasting this what I uh, created uh, in my um, in my Excel and and then I was just downloading it. It was picture. It was it was um, YouTube uh, movie, or it was um, um, kind of um, it was link. So everything I was I was posting here, and then I was just setting up the date uh, where when I would like to schedule a post, and then I was just doing schedule, and um, I had the 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 communication for the whole month. The same I was doing uh, with um, events. Um, I know that uh, some of you, uh, you're doing um, individual events for each um, for each meeting. Um, but uh, I was doing once a month. I was setting up events for the whole month, and I was doing the the graphics for that um, because we were a uh, really new club, so not everyone uh, knew what kind of topic they would like to cover. Uh, so um, for the promoting um, purposes, I just uh, I was just doing um, just general um, events like um, public speaking skills development, um, meeting of speakers of wood and um, as well they were popping up uh, in our um, events. And this is the way why, how people know that something is happening in your club. Um, because um, they will have the information that, okay, you're working constantly, um, there's something happening in, uh, in your club. Uh, so, um, so that's why I, I decided to, to make those general events on, um, on Facebook just once a month. And um, this is also, uh, I'm describing here you um, how to make it very quickly. So you need to just go to publishing tools, 
then to events, um, create events, um, update photo, um, update event name, location, um, and also set up uh, start and ends. Um, write the description, and also we can choose a date when you want to um, when you want to uh, publish that. Um, so that was really a real help for me because um, it saved a lot of my time. Uh, I was not distracting like all week and uh, publishing something on Facebook. There were times that I was on holidays or I was on conferences and you know just uh, posts on Facebook were popping up um, just like that. And right now I would like to show you what I was um, what I was posting. So uh, as I mentioned, four times a week I was posting something on Facebook. Always on Thursday I was posting um, information about the upcoming meeting. Then um, every Tuesday uh, after the meeting I was uh, posting pictures from the meeting. I was not taking a lot of pictures, I was rather taking three up to ten pictures just to show what happened and just to show the context of the meeting. Because right now on Facebook, uh, there is a trend that um, we shouldn't post too much pictures. Uh, just to, it's better to post one or two, three pictures, but really good quality pictures. And then every Sunday, I was introducing member of our club. Um, it was a good, um, a good, uh, just, just to show that we are real and uh, what we are doing um, just what kind of people we are and that we are wel welcoming uh, other people just to visit us um, and uh, then i was uh, also uh, posting information about the club so uh, if we had a club contest then i was um, this is the, the result of our contest so there were um, Valentine's, so if there were any special dates, I was uh, creating a special, um, a special post as well. Um, I was infor also posting information about special events. If I was not going to those events, to those conferences, then I was always asking someone, can you please take a picture? And then I was posting those pictures. And um, I was also posting uh, information about tips and tricks. Uh, if there were no special dates or <laughs> special event, then um, I was posting those tips and tricks. And of course, I was uh, posting our successes. And just to show you um, how many people have seen this uh, this this post, um, this is one of our member who became Jacek Kuc, who became uh, the champion in, in table topic contest in Polish. So as you can see, almost 2,000 people have seen uh, this post and uh, it was not sponsored post, so I was not paying for that. Uh, so if you would like to, if you will show the real emotion and the real successes of your club, definitely uh, you will receive a great, great uh, result of, um, of the post. Okay, and right now is the time to to answer your questions um, and to to find out who's the winner of our voting. Um, I don't know if every one of you were with, uh, with us from the beginning, but uh, we were voting for the uh, sweetest, uh, for the cutest kitten. And um, right now I would like to reveal you the secret who, which cat won. So, as we can see, the cat uh, number four, are you talking to me, uh, won this competition. Um, this was, we were using uh, for voting application Mentimeter, and I really also encourage you to, to use this application during your webinar or during your presentation. It's really nice and helpful tool. Okay, do you have any question to Facebook? Hello? Maybe one question from my side. I was curious, you know, whether, of course, you as the PR, you, you run the show, but where you are able to train other people to post uh, on Facebook as well. 
and all where you where you like try to create something like conversation you know not having like one voice but maybe having different people discuss okay No, that, that was a question. Where were you when you were running your oh, Facebook okay, campaigns? Sorry. Where it was where it was just you being the master of everything, oh, or when okay. you had you know some sidekicks and uh, people okay. who you would create some discussion. Okay, okay. So, um, so I don't know if there are any questions on on the chat box. So, if there are some questions, then I'm happy to to answer the, the questions. Yes, maybe I will. Maybe I will read. There is a question from Alexandra. How did you get 581 followers? Uh, what is uh, your secret? Okay. Um, so um, I will not. Uh, so at the beginning, we bought um, we bought uh, 100 followers, I think, um, because uh, the, the the Facebook fan page, uh, which has no. Uh, followers, it's um, it's not <laughs> a good uh, Facebook fan page. Uh, however, after after we started our um, after we started our um, our journey with this club, we uh, we were working on our Facebook uh, profile. So, uh, if you will post regularly information about the meeting, if you will uh, spam your friends <laughs> with invitation, and if you will tag people to, to the post then more and more people will see that you are active and uh, more and more people will follow you. What I, what I did as well, uh, I was also promoting our events on uh, different uh, Facebook groups. As I mentioned before, our target group were foreigners and, um, and uh, in which we have a lot of uh, groups for foreigners. So uh, from, time to, from time, time to time, just not to spamming uh, them, I was sending information about our our uh, our events and um, our inviting people uh, to our events. But I have more trip, tips and tricks about the social media after Instagram. So maybe I will I will right now proceed to Instagram and then after the um, the Facebook and Instagram we can sum up um, this part. So as I mentioned at the beginning, um, I also we also created the Instagram face, uh, profile, and uh, we were posting them. Um, as I as I mentioned, um, I was uh, posting four times a week information on our Facebook, and so when I was not posting on our Facebook, then I was posting on Instagram, and I was rather posting pictures um, from the backstage of the meeting or from everything what has happened uh, which I was not posting on Facebook like we were doing the promotional movie I posted this picture that we are doing a promotional movie when we received um, our leaflets then I posted that oh come on we have our new leaflets when I created for the St. Valentine's Day um, the special uh, stickers then I also posted that information on our Instagram. Um, sometimes I was, uh, I don't know, reading a Toastmaster magazine. So I took a picture uh, with Toastmaster magazine. This is also a Toastmasters international brand just to promote them. Um, and I was also posting random moments from the meetings. Like here we have the timekeeper information about the evaluation from the meeting. Like funny moments, which were which we are having very often, our after parties, and I was also reposting posts from those masters international or from different other clubs, which I liked. Okay, uh, maybe very shortly I will mention about the movie because I mentioned about it previously. We have our um, YouTube channel. We created just one movie, which uh, lasts one minute, and I really encourage you to, to see this movie. Um, it's the promotional movie which uh, describes our meeting. Um, there are some um, information from the, the, the club board, uh, what we are doing, how we are meeting, and how to join us. Um, so it lasts just one minute, and 
but I think that for the promotional purposes, it's enough. The last channel which I was using, um, and it was a really successful channel, was the Meetup. And um, I don't know if many of you um, are using this um, channel. Unfortunately, right now you need to pay for this. It's uh, $50 uh, for, for account. But the good news is that you can use uh, this account not only for your club. So right now we are having such a situation that we are sharing the cost with two clubs. And uh, we have one account on Meetup, but we are promoting um, events uh, of the clubs. And uh, I have to admit that I was not believing into this uh, channel. However, when I was asking people, um, new members, new guests who were coming to our meeting, okay, so how did you get the information about the meeting? Um, they were saying for me that unfortunately right now Facebook um, provides a lot of information and it's really difficult to follow um, the proper fan pages. So um, sometimes um, if people wants to find something valuable, they are just checking on Meetup. I don't know how does it look like in your regions, in your countries, but uh, right now in Poland, Meetup is getting more and more popular. And I really encourage you as well to, um, to use this tool because in terms of our um, guests and our members, um, it's worth because more and more people who are becoming our members they get the information about our club and about our meetings from Meetup. Just to sum up this section, um, how to be successful in social media. So first of all, you need to create value. You need to create something which means you need to um, take care about uh, the standards you need to take care about the quality of the pictures which you are uh, which you are publishing um, then you should um, tag people because whenever you are tagging people then the friends of this friend they will know that that particular person was visiting your club and um, that this person is going to speakers of woods or to other different toastmaster club and um, more and more people will know about your activities. The third thing, keep your posts updated. So if you're organizing special event, just after the meeting, as I was doing after the meeting, I was posting three pictures, but good pictures, just showing the context of the meeting. And everyone who, who was in the meeting, they just, um, they just immediately liked and um, they knew um, about it and they like it. And uh, the last thing which I would like to um, emphasize is that if we are using right now Facebook um, the, from January, the algorithm of Facebook has changed. So it means that um, less and less uh, fan pages um, will be visible for will be visible for the followers uh, because uh, um, Facebook. Uh, would like to right now get more more um, money from the sponsor uh, sponsor sponsorship uh, sponsoring um, post and um, that's why they are decreasing the the posts uh, from from the fan pages but there is one um, good news uh, because they are not uh, dec decreasing um, the live broadcasts and right now live broadcasts are more and more popular and um, if someone is following your website on your facebook page and you're doing the live broadcast then immediately immediately everyone who's following your facebook is getting the information about uh, this that you are doing the broadcasting so it means that everyone will get the information and uh, this is a really good uh, tool to uh, to get to your audience and just to inform people what you're doing. Do we have any questions 
generally to social media, to, um, to the information I covered within this section. We have a very important question from the chat box by Peter. Justina, yeah. how much time do you have available per week to keep up all the activities you do? Wow. <laughs> As I mentioned, when I was applying my Facebook, when I was activities, I was doing that just once a month. So I was sitting for three hours a month and I was uh, like doing all graphics. I was uh, publishing um, um, posts and I was planning them. So this is, I think this is the essential uh, of each uh, vice president of PR. Um, and thanks to that, I was not spending my whole week um, on doing activities related with the PR. And, uh, you know, whenever, whenever I was on a meeting, uh, I was just taking a few pictures and after the meeting, I was just posting the picture. So when I came back home, I was out of my work <laughs> in terms of the vice president of PR. Um, and I think this is the most efficient way of this, uh, how to be um, a vice president of PR. Of course, uh, this is my personal opinion. And we have another very uh, important question in the chat. How do we get our members to get involved, to like and share our posts in social media? So this is related to, with um, as well, like what makes you to like each picture or the post? So first of all, you need to um, answer those, those questions yourself. And definitely a picture which are showing emotions, uh, funny moments, um, smi smiles and funny people. Those pictures are getting, uh, and those posts are getting um, likes. And as well like successes, um, as I mentioned, if someone will um, be a champion uh, in public speaking, then definitely that person will be recognized um, and you will get information as well. If you, someone popular will visit your club, then also it's a good, um, a good way to take a picture and uh, post that picture. So you need to know what your member likes. And if you will know what they like, then definitely they will like your posts. And sometimes I was also like, you know, like sending you them, can you please share this picture? Or can you please um, invite your friends? Of course, I was not doing that every, um, every week uh, because I don't want to spam either my friends, but sometimes I was doing such, uh, such action like, okay, so can we right now invite uh, someone to, to the website uh, or can we invite someone to, to the event? And um, it worked. Do we have another question? Okay, I cannot hear, so maybe I will mention once again about useful tools. Um, with social media, I was working as I showed you with my Excel and with a tool on, with, um, which is linked with Facebook, which is related to publishing um, post. Um, however, if you would like to be more sophisticated and more advanced, Mm, there are professional tools um, which you can also get for free, uh, which are Hot Suits, Buffer, Post Planner, and Lighter. And I was not doing a newsletter, um, but if you would like, and if you are doing and you think that this is a good strategy for your club, then I really recommend you uh, tools for, for newsletter, uh, which are very, very, very um, useful very friendly. Um, those are get response, MailChimp and fresh mail. And now a question to you. Do you know other useful tools for the social media?
Do we have any comments in the chat box? Okay, so maybe um, um, I think that really Facebook is the um, the best one. And uh, if you um, if you're using the the publishing tool from Facebook, it's uh, uh, it's enough for the for the for your club um, um, needs. Um, but if you Justine, would like, I just I just I just noticed. Sorry, I just noticed one. Internations is as successful as Meetup to attract new guests. Who on uh, Dusseldorf Bridge okay. gave this answer? Internations website. Are you aware of it? Okay. No. 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 There are like many platforms for um, for the events, but uh, but I I I I'm not familiar with that one. Right, so, so I, I, I am, so it's it's a website where people like different people can sign up. Uh -huh. So it's used for used by expats. There's one more question was whether Internations is a closed group and it's not. Anybody can sign up to that website. Oh wow. So this is really nice. I need to check it. Thank you very much for this. I think it will be useful as well for other participants of this webinar. Okay. So this is uh, almost the end of our uh, webinar, but I would like to mention about one very important tool. As Peter Drucker says, uh, you can't manage what you can't measure. And I was also uh, measuring my results and um, how, I would, how, how I was doing that. Um, first of all, the easiest way is just to check and to compare your likes. So I was comparing likes uh, from each week. Every Tuesday I was comparing likes from Facebook and I was comparing them. And I was also comparing likes on Instagram uh, in terms of the followers and in terms of the responses of our posts. Uh, so the Facebook analytics is, is really useful, very friendly, and it's not a rocket science to, to get the information about this, what you're doing. I really recommend you to check like what hour is the best for, uh, for your audience. Mm, so maybe uh, sometimes uh, it's better to post something um, during in the morning, sometimes better in the evening. Uh, but uh, from my perspective, uh, people are more responsive during evening hours, like 9, 10 p.m. So after work, they have time and uh, they are following um, and they are sharing and liking your posts. Um, the second thing uh, I was uh, measuring uh, was guests. And I think this is the most um, valuable information for you uh, because you and the vice president of membership are responsible for getting new members to your club. So whenever someone was uh, coming, whenever new guests were coming to, to our club, I was always asking a question, hello, so how did you get the information about our meeting? And, uh, and that was my real return on invest um, answer, because uh, then I realized that Meetup is really getting more and more um, popular and is getting us more and more members. That's why it's really worth to put more attention and to put more money uh, into the solution, because, um, because I was not uh, post, I was not uh, putting money into sponsoring uh, Facebook posts. Um, I was just uh, doing everything um, without fees, but just uh, the meetup. Um, right now, they changed the, um, the, the work, uh, ways of work, work and uh, it, it's, uh, it cost $50. So I really encourage you just to checking your results, working on your results, and then adjusting them uh, to your needs. And um, if you will do that, uh, definitely you will be a successful vice president of PR. And I wish you all the best uh, for that. And um, if you will have any question, then of course I'm happy to answer that. 
Um, and I really would like to ask you for a gift of feedback. So uh, if you could go to menti.com, uh, you can use codes and you can leave me um, a message, um, your general impression about the webinar. How did you like it? What do you think I can improve uh, in my um, speaking skills through, through camera? Uh, it would be really appreciated. And in case of any questions, I'm really happy to answer those questions. So do we have time for questions and do we have any questions right now? So I think certainly with this uh, with this official part being over, if you're willing to take questions uh, now, I think we can definitely leave the webinar open for, for a little bit more. And so in that case, I would like to ask Elena, Elena, if you can bring the most interesting questions that we had in the chat box. Of course, if there are any other additional questions for everyone, feel free to ask. We will keep the session open at least for the next 10 or 15 minutes if there is interest. And the first question from my side, you, Sina, so you mentioned so many interesting resources uh, and you, with also looking at your presentation, will there be a way for the participants to get maybe some summary of the workshop or to get a view of your material or something like that? Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. After the workshop, I will download uh, the PDF of my presentation and with the useful tools which I mentioned during the presentation. So yeah, definitely, yes. Great. And second, if somebody has any follow-up questions directed to you, can people reach out to you? Yeah, of course. I'm happy to answer all questions. So you, we can link the, through social media or you can direct uh, your questions via email. I'm happy to answer them. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Elena, are there any questions from the, from the chat box that you would like to bring to everyone's attention? Okay, we have now a question from Lucas. How does Meetup work? Can you, in a few words, describe what is it about? Okay, so this is a platform for events. Uh, you can find uh, events all over the world on Meetup. Um, and you, as a creator of accounts, uh, you are creating um, your Meetup account. So you're just describing uh, what kind of organization or what kind of meeting you're organizing. Um, also, you can have your own followers and um, uh, you're um, setting up the dates of your events. And this is really great because all members which are joining your meetups and they will like your event, they will get information directly to their emails. And uh, there's also a possibility to, to put those events to their calendars. So it means that every time the information about your event will pop up in their emails and um, in their calendar. And that's it. You can also, like in the meetup, you can also create uh, up to a few months um, events. So it's not time consuming as well because uh, you can create in advance uh, even on Meetup, but you need to just remember if you're in case you are changing the place or time of your meeting just to update the Meetup account as well or this particular event that is getting um, earlier or later or maybe change the location. Okay, we had we had an interesting discussion in the in the chat, and yep. um, do you know is there a Toastmasters WordPress theme? Is there a standard website which clubs can use uh, to to make their website, or everyone should invent their own thing? So as I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar, uh, there are templates and. And as far as I as I remember, because I mentioned that I was not creating this uh, this website for our club, um, but um, I but as far as I remember, there is one WordPress template, so we can just easily use this web this template and adjust uh, to your location and information about your club.
Okay, another question we had is about MailChimp. What do you think about sending mailing through MailChimp and uh, not through EasySpeak, for example, because they are more fancy? And there was a discussion in the chat because it costs money. What is your opinion on using MailChimp? So as I mentioned, I was not using uh, newsletters. Uh, however, I know that our um, P, uh, our um, administration manager, Ola Kolasha, she's using um, this tool, and I think that is really uh, fancy and cool um, because, um, because, for example, I'm using EasySpeak. Whenever I'm a Toastmaster, I'm using EasySpeak and uh, I'm sending information about, uh, about the event. But let's face the truth, EasySpeak is not... Um, um, fancy tool uh, for the PR uh, perspective. Um, it's really basic. You cannot um, you cannot do as many creative and um, and PR things through through EasySpeak as you can do through uh, Mailchimp. So it depends. If you think that the basic information um, for your clubs uh, is enough, then it's okay. But uh, if you would like to like go up and uh, uh, move your standards um, to um, to the current uh, to the current standard, like the PR standards, then I, I really recommend the um, this uh, this tool. Okay, thank you. And uh, the last question that was discussed uh, in the chat is, what do you think about having a PR person for a division or an area? Uh, would it be helpful? Is it possible? And how such person could uh, help clubs in their PR activities? Yes, I think it would be really helpful um, because um, I know that right now in our area we are having um, a lot of events and uh, I'm trying to to, to, sh to share those events with uh, with clubs within my area uh, but I think that if there will be someone especially in um, in cities which um, for example in Warsaw uh, in Poland we have a lot of clubs more than 15 of, I think uh, so um, sometimes people from the same city they would like to get the information about what is happening uh, in their cities, uh, and this is related to Toastmasters. So um, I think in such cases um, it would be very helpful to to have uh, to have such a person who could uh, just at least be aware and uh, create I don't know Facebook fan page that, for example, I know that in Warsaw um, exists and uh, they are posting information about uh, the things which are happening uh, mostly about special events which are happening in the city so I think it's really helpful okay so we have no more uh, questions i think in the chat and uh, there was a comment uh, from stefan that uh, there is no theme there is a pdf for for the website so just a suggested uh, they suggest how the website should look like i think uh, so uh, maybe i didn't notice some questions if uh, someone has a question you can turn on the microphone maybe and uh, just uh, ask it now yep Okay. Well, okay. in case no, I think there are no questions. In case there are no questions, Justina, thank you very much for preparing this content-packed webinar. Thanks for all the effort and you made. You made seem the role of VPPR effortless and fun. Well, maybe not exactly effortless, but fun definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, to everyone, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact Justina directly. You heard and we'll be sharing the link to the material in the Facebook in the Facebook group in the Facebook yeah. event.
So yes, like... um, first of all, thank you very much, Lucas, once again for the invitation. Thank you very much, Elena, for helping me uh, today with this webinar. Um, once again, I really encourage you to, to leave uh, me your gift of feedback on the Menti about my webinar. And once again, if you will have any questions about uh, the content of today's uh, webinar, I'm happy to, to answer your question. Um, so thank you very much once again for joining this webinar and see you uh, and see your fan pages uh, because I'm following a lot of fan pages um, in our district and I'm following also a lot of uh, um, accounts on Instagram. So, um, so hope to see you, um, if not uh, in real life, then in the, uh, in the social media life. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.